Australians will long remember that day when the men of HMAS Sydney, with battle honours thick upon them, returned from their triumphs in the Mediterranean. They were led by Captain John Collins, who had shown the world that Australians at sea are just as formidable as the diggers in khaki. Australians will not forget that it was men like these who took our little navy into the thick of the fight in the Philippines. We remember too that some of these men and their gallant leader, Commodore Collins, came home on stretchers from that fight. But their fighting spirit never deserted them for one moment. They live for the day when they can rejoin their comrades in the little navy. And here is Commodore Collins convalescing with his family. I'm just waiting for the doctors to give me a clean bill of health so that I can take up active command once more. Most sailors look forward to a spot of shore leave, especially when it means being with one's family. However, after a few weeks, we generally want to get back to the job again. We are only a little navy, but the RAN has a fine record. Nine ships have been lost in battle, but every ship and every man has upheld our best traditions. I have fought alongside and watched our boys under the most hazardous conditions, and I can assure you there are no finer sailors in the world. Australia is, I'm sure, just as proud of the Royal Australian Navy as I am. It has served with distinction in every theatre of war, and it can be counted upon to continue to play its part, whatever the odds. Thank you, Commodore Collins, and may good luck go with you always. When you step aboard your flagship, seven million Australians would like you to know that we echo the words of the Commander-in-Chief of the British fleet. I am proud of the RAN. All their work is first class. And seven million Australians will back their pride with everything they've got until the last gun is fired. Right now, every man and woman on the home front can show appreciation of men like these by putting all they have into the third victory loan. <laughs>